Hello everyone, my name is Sharon. This is the Cozy Junk Studio. If this is your first time watching this channel, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, hit that like button, and stay around for a while. We are going to be working on some cozy thrift flips today, sort of cottage core, and just some bright colors for spring. I hope you guys stick around to watch the video and see some of the techniques I've used in this video. And let's get on with the video. The first project is these cute little cutting boards. They are little roughs. So I don't know if these were from like a wood section, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paint the center of these with some, I don't use that salt to kiss. I think I change it uh, to Fancy Farm Girl and DIY. And then this is Fire Starter. And this is the first time I'm using it. I love these colors together. They are just such a pretty bright color for summer, spring, and even fall. So like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and put a coat on here to cover this up real good. And then we're gonna do some stenciling. Since these are a little rough and they are kind of dry, I'm gonna go ahead and use some DIY uh, Dark and Decrepit, which is a liquid patina. It gives it a good seal and it's going to give this wood a little bit of some color. I'm just taking a baby wipe and kind of wiping some of this back to mostly use this as a stain and uh, it ends up making the color really really pretty especially with these DIY paints. I'm going to seal these with some polyacrylic. We had a lot of polyacrylic left over from working on a house project and I decided that I'm going to use this up before I order or purchase any more clear coats even though this is glossy and I prefer matte but I'm trying to use what we have. I have these really cheap stencils that I purchased from Michaels on sale online. They were really, really reasonable. I think like $4. I've really never used them. I don't do a lot of this style, but I'm trying to be more eclectic and add different styles to my vendor booth. So that is why I'm working on this type of video. What I'm going to do is just stencil these, a rooster and a chicken or hen, whatever you want to call it, on one and then one on the other, <laughs> if that made sense. These stencils had these little dots around the roosters, and I just wanted to go ahead, or rooster and hen, clean those off. I, I didn't really want them on here, so I just took a baby wipe and just wiped them right off. Once I got those stenciled on, I decided that I wanted some of these little faux tulips, bottoms, petals, I'm not sure what they are. But I went ahead and put just a few above each. Well, I think I only put one above the hen, but just to give it a little bit more to it. I didn't really want to put a word, so these kind of took that place. Let me know in the comments below if this is a type of video that you all like. I'd like to touch on different styles for different genres so that it kind of gets out there to everyone. But my favorite is vintage, dark, sort of moody, industrial. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this type of video? I'm distressing back on these uh, stencils just so that it gives it a little bit more worn or aged look and not so crisp around where the stencil was put on. We're going to go ahead and add another coat of the polyacrylic on the whole piece now just to tie everything in. Originally I put the polyacrylic on before I stenciled over that uh, clay based paint so that the stencil did, did not reactivate the paint. This next project is this metal, it feels like iron piece with a basket. It's a wall hanging and I love the bird on it. I love the basket part. I just, this piece overall, I really like. What I wanted to do was add this aviary to this and what happened was when I first put the this coat on, and I came back, some of that iron had bled through, which didn't really look bad, but I wanted to white wax this. So I ended up sealing uh, this and then put another coat of aviary on top of it and it worked out perfect. Anytime you have an iron piece that maybe looks kind of rustic or rusty, you can go ahead and seal those first. That way you don't have to do what I did. We're gonna white wax this and then bring back some of those details with the that's in the metal and it just turns out so pretty now don't forget to let me know which is your favorite one in the video in the comment section below go ahead and let me know also don't forget that the photos will be dropped at the end of this video 
we'll also have a vignette of all the pieces together. Our next project is these wooden utensils. I've been collecting a lot of these up to do something fun with them. And I've seen other people, I think here on YouTube and then on Pinterest, paint these, stencil them, decoupage them. I start out, I'm spraying that right there with some water because this paint is a little thick and I wanted to go on a little bit smoother. Don't forget with your chalk paints and your uh, clay-based paints, you can use a little bit of water to help those go on easier more fluidly. I started out wanting to do a transfer on these and I did and I didn't video it and you see it pulled off my paint. So to do something different I went ahead and decided I'll just stick a pause right over that and you won't see it and you all it worked out perfect. What I think I did was I painted I okay so I painted these first with the DIY clay based paint and then I sealed it but I sealed them while some of it was still wet and that was a mistake on my part because generally if you seal it, it doesn't necessarily pull your paint back up when you're transferring and I made a mistake and it turned out that it worked in my favor. I'm putting a coat of sheepskin in the folk art paint on here to use as my background for my recycled papers. I'm going to go ahead and use that same polycrylic as a transfer medium, just like Mod Podge. I'd never tried it and it worked perfect. I let that dry and now I'm just ripping the paper off down to the rough edges and then using my sander to get around all those edges to give it a nice, uh, not necessarily clean look because I make it really rough around the edges. I wanted these to be heavily distressed and I love the way they turned out. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about these two uh, utensils. I'm super excited to do more of these. I do two more utensils but in a different way and you'll see those coming up. Like I said I'm heavily distressing these with my little finger sander. I will have any of the products mentioned linked in the description box below. The ones that you can find on Amazon as it is an affiliate link. Don't forget that an affiliate link means that I get a small percentage and let me tell you it's minimal for when you click on the links it doesn't cost you any extra money now i'm just tying this little checkered ribbon on here to give this an even more cottage cozy look and i again love how these turned out i'm going to go ahead and seal the whole piece all over again since i did the sanding and it gives it even a deeper richer look once you seal these here are our next two utensils. Now these are just a natural wood and what I'm going to do is paint these uh, the Bumble, the Bumble Queen Bee. First I'm going to go ahead and use Dark and Decrepit to stain the handles almost all the way up past the spoon and fork area. That way it gives it a deeper, richer look. And then I'm going to go in with my Queen Bee and add that just to the tops of these utensils. I'm using the same technique with the baby wipe and the dark and decrepit and now I'm sealing that dark and decrepit with a clear coat before I get started on the queen bee. I'm going to go ahead and give these a good coat of queen bee. I think I seal these after the queen bee. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure I do. It looks like it but what I'm going to do is use this fresh herb stencil and I'm just going to use the word sage and the word basil put on each of these. I'm going to be using the DIY little black dress and I'm just going to stencil that on there, distress it a little bit, seal it, and these are going to be done. This next project is a really pretty basket. It's very large. It has, it's in really good shape. It has some weird kind of burn marks on the bottom, but I didn't let that deter me. What I'm going to do is put a clear coat completely over this of that polyacrylic to give it a more rich look. I almost put some dark wax or some dark and decrepit and I thought, no, let me seal it and see if that richens it. And it does. And I'm using the Beautiful Fusion Pressed Fern Paint. Pressed Fern. I have bought a lot of fusion paint because I think I told you all in my other videos, there's a lady at the antique mall where I have my booth. She is selling out her stock because she's not going to be selling it anymore. It is not only $23.99 to begin with, it's another 25% off of that. So I'm loving trying these paints. 
at a very heavily discounted price. Look at how beautiful that paint is. That has a, it's a fusion mineral paint. It has a sealer in it. It just turns out so pretty, the finishes. Especially if it's not something you're wanting to distress back. I'm sure you can, but I don't use it for distressing. I use DIY clay paints or chalk paint for that. All right, now we're just going to put this in number five with a stencil uh, brush and that little stencil. Seal that up, and this basket is finished. That was a quick flip. It was a little time consuming, but I enjoyed painting that rim and those handles because the paint was so, that paint is very thin, but very heavy coverage. It's just, oh, I love it. All right, next we're going to be using a DIY Queen Bee on this cute little stool. I found this at one of my thrift hauls. We're going to paint this in Queen Bee and we're going to stencil this as well. Before I stencil it, I'm going to seal it with the polyacrylic, use my stencil on it, and then I'm going to white wax it. I do a little bit of stressing as well. I'm only going to use the bee, the circle, and the crown on this. And I'm going to use the black, little black dress in DIY clay based paint as well. And then I'm going to seal that again. And this piece will be finished. Well, I do white wax it, but I already mentioned that. We're going to white wax it. I will have some French stencils linked in the description box below if you're interested in those from Amazon. This next project looks like a cheese box, but it isn't. It held plates from Pottery Barn, maybe? I don't know. That's what the sticker said on the bottom. Someone used it for coffee, and they wrote it in blue Sharpie. So we're going to use some of the DIY aviary paint to paint this. I'm going to give it two coats because it has a sheen to it and it does take two coats to get this covered up and it turns out so pretty. Once I get my two coats on there, I let it dry and then I sealed it with polyacrylic. I'm just going around and sanded that edge to get any extra paint off of that edge. I don't distress this. What I do is I go through my transfers, my Iron Orchid Design IOD transfers, and I find a bunch of little pieces that I just want to add on to this. Now, if you noticed, you might have missed it, the magic marker came through on this. But you know what? Our butterflies is going to cover it up and you're not going to be able to see it. So, what I did was I went ahead and used some of my little, like I said, little ones that, that was just laying around needing to be used and this turned out it looks so 70-ish definitely cottage style i love it let me know what you think about this one in the description box below all right you all it is time to see the photos of all of our diys that we have finished some of these were definitely trash to treasures including this plate box that was something someone would just throw right in the trash let me know again what you think if you like this type of video i'll be happy to do more onto the photos. I really had a hard time choosing which one was my favorite, but the bird spoons and the little rooster cutting boards, ooh, and maybe the plate box, I don't know. I really enjoyed doing this type of video. For more content like this, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button to let me know and to let YouTube know that you want more videos like this. Thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video.